Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and I'm here with Bailey Hi. and today we're going to show you how to do the double twisted updo. Now what I love about this is that it can be done with your hair dry and make a really formal look for like a dance or a party, but you can do it wet if you're running out the door late or something like that too. So today I'm going to do it on her hair wet to show you what it would look like. So I've already done one side, I'll show you how to do this side. We've parted her hair right down the smack middle of her head and we are going to pick up a section in front right here and these are her bangs, her long bangs. And we're going to go ahead and just start twisting them and then I'm going to pick up hair and add it into that bottom piece and twist it again. And then I'm going to pick up hair and twist it again and pick up hair and twist it. And you're going to keep doing this. <clears throat> so it's sort of like a lace, lace twist, really. All the way down, you're going to just come right above her ears. And pick up all the hair. I love this one for if I'm running behind schedule in the morning and I need to shower, but I don't have time to blow dry my hair. These are great ways to just twist your hair back and have it look like a really super fancy style but it didn't take you very long to do it at all. So again, I'm just keeping, still adding in hair and twisting, and we're just following the natural hairline all along the back of her head. And when we get to the last piece, we're gonna add it in and twist them once. Now, I'm gonna do what is called a rope twist. So a rope twist from this point on means that you twist both pieces one direction. I'm gonna go to the right, so they're both kind of twisting to the right, and then I'm gonna twist them together towards the left. So you can see as I go down, I continue to twist those pieces to the right, and then I lay them over each other towards the left. And this just, the rope twist, it just makes the twist even tighter, and it holds it in better, so that they don't untwist when you let them go, which makes it nice. I'm gonna secure the ends with an elastic. Now see, if I let this go, you didn't see this move at all. And on a normal, just basic twist, it would totally like start unraveling. So now I'm gonna take this whole strand and just twist itself, twist the whole strand around itself, and lay it until I like it. Tuck those ends in. There, that's better, like that. And then I'm gonna take, a, I'm gonna take a goodie spin pin and just spin it, it down in. Just holds the bun a little bit better, but if you don't have goodie spin pins, you can just use regular bobby pins. And I am going to actually just finish it off with a few regular bobbies too, just to hold it exactly where I want it. And then I'm even gonna put just a couple sort of like right here so that those little buns come together in the middle. My goal is to sort of make it look like it's all one instead of two. Very nice. And you can just play with it until you love it. One more maybe. Right there. Does that feel nice and secure to you? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, now when you have it all finished, we have the completed look, which I think looks really super fab. I especially think it looks pretty good considering we started on wet hair and it was just a like, oh no, I'm late for school, I've gotta run out the door look. But if you wanted to blow dry it and tease the top a little bit, I really think it would make a pretty homecoming or prom hairdo as well. So Brooklyn and Bailey also have a YouTube channel. Yeah, we do tons of fun DIYs and family vlogs, so don't forget to follow us at Brooklyn and Bailey. And don't forget to subscribe, we'll put that up here so you can find them easier. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Wednesday, our imaginary hey boy. Well, I see you soon. Miles scare on me and you. We fit like two birds in a house on the cutter six and I. I've gotta say. Thank you.